How is it going guys? It's your boy Marcus the, the Low Vision Gamer here and welcome back to another video. For this vid, I got a new game to show you guys called Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This game literally came out yesterday and I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm definitely liking, liking this game. Not as much as Marvel Snap, but I'm, I'm kind of surprised at how like, I'm kind of surprised at how, like, fun the battling mechanics are and how easy it was to, like, earn cards and whatnot. But anyways, let's get started. So, basically, oh, we get to open a free pack. So, basically, the whole idea with this game is every day you can open one free pack out of these boosters there's only like one different booster or expansion right now and that's this uh genetic apex um but i'm sure they're probably gonna get they're gonna add more but this right here is kind of your your interface so you got your wonder pick which is kind of kind of interesting you have the shop and then up top is where you have, you open your cards. Right here you have a little, a little display board, which is kind of cool. Um, but you got your spot for your cards right here, and I've already got like a pretty good collection going. So you can flip the card around move it like this you can see the different you can see like the attack these are all the different cards that you can get playing the game there's actually a lot more um but yeah so i i got this game yesterday because it it just came out and as i said i think i'm definitely definitely liking this one um, not as much as Marvel Snap, but I think it's definitely, definitely up there. So, let's go ahead and we'll open up a pack. I'll show you guys how that works. So, we're gonna go ahead. I wanna do, let's do this Mewtwo pack. Or should we do the Pikachu? Let's do Pikachu. We'll do Pikachu. Uh, so we're gonna click on open. Now this is the interesting part. All of these packs are basically the same, but you do still get to like spin this thing around. What I like to do is kind of spin this super duper fast. Let it slow down and boom, that's the pack we're opening. That's kind of cool. You can you can uh, flip the pack to its backside, but we're gonna leave it like this we're gonna click on this pack and then all you gotta do is just swipe oh nice we got growling okay oh blitzel we got heat more graveler oh we got the evolution for for Ekans. we got arbok that's awesome all right we got a whole bunch of new cards normally like the, the other few times that I've opened packs, I got like duplicates, but so far we got some pretty solid cards. Let me, let me take a look at this one. Ooh, 100 HP for Arbok. Arbok. We got 100 for Graveler. Pretty strong, pretty strong. And we got 70 for Growlithe, which is not bad. We got 60 for Blitzel. A little bit weaker, but not not too shabby there. And then heat more is a solid 80. And now that we've opened our pack, we're then gonna rest register these cards to our decks here. My my alarm. So this is my collection. These are all of the cards that I've unlocked throughout the game. 
throughout my time playing this. And yeah, so basically the way to level up is pretty much this. You just open packs. Now you're probably, probably wondering, well, what if I'm impatient? What if I'm not a very patient person and I just want to open a pack? Just want to open more packs. Well, luckily, the Pokemon company has made it pretty easy, at least for right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this works because when you complete missions, you get these pack hourglass things. And as you can see, I've got over 130. So I could essentially go into this thing. Like, I have to wait 11 hours. But. I could spend 12 of these pack hourglass timers and I will be able to open another pack. But I don't think I'm gonna do that or should we? Or should I? No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be resourceful. But we got our missions tab right here. We're gonna collect our points for our daily mission. See look right here, you can earn you can earn some Pack hourglass timers right here. Stupid magnifier. And then you got all these other daily missions. There's also ones for like building a deck. Um, there's like ones for deck building. That's a whole bunch of other ones that you could you could do. Register 50 cards in the card decks. Now we get... What, what is this now? Emblem ticket. Hmm. That's kind of cool. So we got that. So, let me show you guys how a Wonder Pick works. So, with the Wonder Pick, this is basically, you get to pick one card from five others that a random player ha drew. So, for instance, this player right here, those are the cards that they drew. So, I could choose to do this as well. I could choose to do this pack. And have a chance at getting a... Ooh, I actually kind of want to hope I can get that Ponyard. That way I can start using Bishop. Or Bisharp. You know what? We're going we're gonna to roll with this one. And it only takes up one uh, of these little stamina points. Which do generate over time. Regenerate. Oh, I hope I get the Ponyard. I'll take anything else, but... Come on, Ponyard, Ponyard. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I got uh I got pet a little. That's fine. That's cool. So that's that's the card that we got. We'll go ahead and register that to our card decks there. Oh, the ponier was on the top right. No, dang it. Nah, it's all right. Hopefully, we can get it in, in uh, additional packs. So you can send the thanks to the other player. So go ahead and send the thanks just to be nice. Boom. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much how the, the wonder pick feature works. So yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Now, I think, I think it's a good time to kind of show you guys the battling mechanic. Because you can battle. So you can play... They have a solo mode right here. You do these things called step up battles. Uh, right now, I'm currently doing the the Swoobat deck. So we'll go ahead and challenge that. Now it gets to come in here. I already built a custom deck, but I'm going to use this one just to kind of show you guys how this works. So the, the, okay, so first you fl flip a coin, and now, basically, we, we, you, the way this works 
is instead of trying to like get locations like a Marvel Snap, you're trying to reduce your cards health down to zero. So we're gonna go ahead ahead and play Sand True, and now we need to fill our we need to have three basic Pokemon to put in our bench, so we can go ahead and place. Our first card, second, and we should be able to, oh no wait, we can't play Eradicate, but, oh no, Evolutions is until the, the next turn. So my opponent played their card, now I get to go again, so I could play... This Rattata, put that here. And what's also kind of neat is I could play either of these and evolve my Pokemon. So, they're both at 70 health, which is pretty good. Yo, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my, my screen recording stopped there for a second. But anyways, I've played through my turn. And now I can evolve my Sand True. And make him even stronger. And I can also do the same to my Rattata. I don't know why I added two. It's kind of weird. I should have just kept them in there and put Onyx. But now we can take our energy. So with the energy, you can go ahead and charge up your attack. You can't just attack immediately. It's not, it's not how it works. You actually have to gain enough energy to be able to perform some action. So my opponent's gonna attack first. Not, not that great. But luckily, just one more attack and I can do a slash. And I basically just destroyed my opponent and I win the first turn or the first round. Ooh, that did a decent amount of damage there. Now, let's see. Slash is still pretty good. What's kind of surprising to me is the fact that I could just go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll just go... Eh. I'll just put it here. Oh, yeah. One of the specialty cards. So I can play this and then draw additional cards. And then now... And there we go, that is another win for me. Radicate pretty good. That's Radicate. Eh, any health that's not super crazy. But... We could do a bite. You know what, this is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna retreat my sand slash and I'm gonna replace it with eradicate. I'm gonna make my first move here and I'm gonna go ahead and deal Oops. I'm gonna go ahead because we could also give it we'll put a little energy right here then I'll go ahead and I use bite Ooh. Okay. So now I can just go ahead. Put an energy on this one. I need to give sand slash some energy. But we'll go ahead and play fight again. And we will go ahead and secure the win. 
super duper awesome. Sand Slash took the dub. Now we get to move on to the next pack. Maybe, maybe I'll try facing... Oh, look, see? I got a pack timer. Pack timer. Not as much as the others, but... There you go. So uh, that's a little, little look at the pack... Or the battling system. Pretty simple. And now we get to claim... Some more pack timers. Pretty awesome. And then our objectives are done. So yeah, there that that's pretty pretty much oh yeah, let me show you guys how to put a deck together actually. So decks consist of 20 cards instead of 12. Like in like a Marvel snap. So you go in here. You click this plus button, and you can choose to either build a deck or build from theme deck list. So go ahead and click on this, and now I can go right here to where it says edit, and I can start picking all my cards. Now if I'm not really sure what I want to do necessarily, I can pretty much I'm not really sure like what cards I want to use I can come up to go up here to this auto build and it wants me to pick two types so I think we're gonna go with let's go Go ahead and put fighting. And I think I'll go. Psychic? Or should I go dark? Darkness. Because I have a few darkness cards. Eh, I'll go like fighting psychic. Or no, not water. Fighting psychic. I think I might already have a deck like this, so we'll try fighting dark maybe. This is a deck it puts together for me. Okay, pretty cool. So yeah, there it is. That's basically how you build a deck in the game. So then you want to make sure you click save to lock it in. And now I have a third deck made. I could use for battles and there it is you guys that's pretty much pokemon pocket um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe turn on those notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video peace